I don't want to be with you. Mate, Ricky's a mess. Why'd you do it? I'm being transferred. You don't owe Brax a damn thing. He cut you off like he cut us off, and that was his choice. So I reckon you should get to make your own choices too. Can you please just go? I can't start something with you now. Is it Brax? Yeah. And no. I ask forgiveness for stealing the money from Mr. Stewart's wallet. I stole some money from it so I could buy the bracelet. The last thing I want to do is upset Mr. S. I'm sure we can come to an agreement. Heath, when was the last time you got some sleep? Well, what, what if she decides to take the car for a spin while I'm sleeping? She could hurt herself or forget where she is. I, I can't let her out of my sight. There was an explosion and you ended up in a coma. No, I'm pretty sure I would remember something like that. You have short-term memory loss. You see, still getting upset when you tell her what's wrong. That's one reason why I haven't got much sleep. That and I can't really leave her alone. Sorry to interrupt. I just wanted to make sure you check the school's website for the list of things you need before the year starts. You know, I already had a look. Here we go, fellas. One toasted sandwich to share. Go wild. Are you sure I can't get you anything else? No, I had a big lunch. I'm good. Mm-hmm. Josh? Uh, no, I'm okay. Suit yourselves. Um, guys, if things are a bit tight at the moment, we can always talk about... No, it's not a problem. I'll get that school stuff. Just so you know, if you're going through any difficulties, you can talk to me. All right, I'll, I'll see you at school. We really can't afford another one? We've got less than 100 bucks. All right, not even enough to cover the rent we owe on the caravan. Yeah, but what about your job? It's casual. Who knows how many shifts I'll get? How long am I going to be broke? I don't know, OK? Right now, you just got to suck it up. <laughs> 